Hey guys, Marketing Mentor Scott DeSalvo here, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about, well, basically tone. It's like how to close every lead that calls you, and how to communicate effectively in your marketing materials, and even face-to-face. -face. So, it's what I call, uh, to summarize, don't be lawyer guy, right? Who's lawyer guy? Lawyer guy is the persona that many of us feel comfortable sinking into when we're talking about the law or we're dealing with people because it puts a, it puts a buffer between us and basically the humanity of the person we're talking to. We, I mean, usually face to face. It's the persona that young attorneys put on all the time because they're insecure about their knowledge and their experience and uh, they want to talk in a very formal way, they want to use big words, they want to impress everybody with their knowledge. Doctors actually do this too. Um, in my life as a trial lawyer, I'm constantly trying to get doctors not to use big language when they're explaining medicine, but lawyers are just as bad as doctors in this regard. So the idea is don't be lawyer guy when you talk to a potential client. Be a normal person and in fact be empathetic to the person you're talking to and let them talk. Try not to rephrase everything they say in the legally accurate way and uh, you're going to have a much better human connection with that person. They're going to like you and they're going to want to hire you and incidentally that works in front of a jury too. Don't act like lawyer guy in front of a jury and don't and don't communicate like lawyer guy using the most complex terms and the longest sentences you can in your marketing materials. Keeping it simple, keeping it real, using regular language like regular people use is way better. Um, it helps you go off code and let the person that you're talking to or communicating with realize that you're a human being who can care about what's happening to them first and a lawyer second, which is actually what you want to do. But I'm going to warn you, you still have to dress like a lawyer. For a long time, I was very fascinated and um, captivated by Jerry Spence, you know, the famous trial lawyer, Jerry Spence. And Jerry would dress in a buckskin coat and blue jeans and boots and try cases that way. Well, if you're Jerry Spence, you can do that. But um, for people who want to get businesses and want to uh, get businesses, get new law clients, and they want to sign people up and they want people to like them, you still have to look like a lawyer. So for guys, that means uh, slacks and a dress shirt at least and a jacket, even if you're not wearing a tie, but a tie is good and you can't go wrong with a blue suit, white shirt, red tie. I know, I'm violating that. I'm recording this uh, on a weekend for you so I can get away with it. Plus, I'm not your lawyer. I'm your marketing mentor, Scott DeSalvo. So anyway, talk like a regular person, act like a regular person, but still look like a lawyer. That's my advice. Look like a lawyer in your print media, in your photographs, on your website, but speak and write your copy like a regular person and you're going to sign up way more injury cases for sure thanks for watching and have a great day